hi guys welcome to digital tech join thank you for visiting the channel in this video i am going to show you how to create a web based application i'll be using a real world example of expense management i'll be showing you how to create a project from the scratch what are the prerequisites and what are the methods and approach this course is divided into multiple videos in this first part of the video i am going to cover the theory part and in the remaining upcoming videos i will be showing you the practical method and session to create this application from the scratch so let's get started so what are the prerequisites what are the tools and software required in order to develop the software along with me so we'll require visual studio 2022 We'll be working with .NET Framework 6.0, and we'll be working with MS SQL database. I'm using R2 database, but you can use the latest one also. We'll be using database to store, create the tables, and store the data in the tables. Proceeding, these are the course contents. So we will start with Visual Studio 2022 environment. Then, what is the project file structure? a bit understanding on mvc because we'll be using the mvc pattern model view controller what is dependency injection i've covered in great details in my in my channel a, a dedicated video is created for uh, dependency injection uh, which for the link i'll be sharing in this description do go it and watch it then what is routing and database design which will be used to set up for our expense management system finally a uh, complete walk through of uh, creating a uh, expense management system that will record track and manage all your expenses the project is designed and structured in such a way that you will be able to use this expense management for your day to day um, tracking of your expenses we will be also covering the deployment part which is not uh, mentioned over here so before we get deep dive into the project understanding let us understand what is a dot net framework okay so basically the view which you are seeing is taken from microsoft blog and uh, if you look at the structure at the base level we have the runtimes compilers and the languages that is c sharp and vb dot net language then we have the framework we'll be using dot net uh, framework 6.0 and then above it we can using this layer of infrastructure and the dot net runtimes we can use use this dot net for developing desktop based application web based application uh, applications deployment on the cloud then obviously xamarin which is used for mobile development which has the capability of uh, developing mobile apps targeting for ios and android then we have gaming and iot and the trending machine learning and ai based application on the right hand side you can see the visual studio tools that will help you to develop these applications which are projected and displayed over here for this course we are using asp.net core uh, mvc pattern and we will be using visual studio 2022 and we will be using c sharp as a language so this is a unified view of the entire uh, architect framework of dot net now proceeding very important for this course is to understand what is mvc so mvc is is a design pattern used for developing web application this pattern is not new it is an old pattern it is existing uh, since ages and uh, the purpose of this pattern is to have an uh, a view uh, a loosely coupled architect where each responsibility each layer that is the view model and controller as own a uh, set of responsibility and it is a very loosely coupled architect which enables you to manage and uh, scale your application so coming back to what what is model the model is nothing but it's an entity that represents the database so when you talk about model think about a database and think about the various tables and uh, relationship that exists in the table then view views is nothing but the presentation layer and uh, in mvc we have the razor uh, syntax which we use to create views uh, which is a extension of c 
as html and views are uh, presented to the end users and customers who actually access the view layer to interact with our application controllers are the are the component that handle all the events so whatever events that is triggered from the view request that comes to the controller and then controller communicates between the model uh, and the view and uh, does the uh, uh, needful of routing and fetching the data from either model and to render that on the view so this is a primarily uh, components of an mvc pattern let us also deep dive into the mvc architect so this is how the communication happens this is very important this is how i added this architect only for uh, you to have a better understanding so the client that is browser they initiate the request that which goes to the uh, typically your web server in our case this will be our internet information server iis and through the routing mechanism the request is interpreted and uh, the controller is invoked so controller is the main component that actually interprets the client uh, request and then bases the whatever methods or uh, is being invoked by the browser or the client controller will either communicate to the view or the model to fetch the data or render the view back to the browser so this is the simple architect of mvc architect that with all the players and with a diagram which i've uh, plotted down to make you understand what exactly the components are and how they interact between each other now dependency injection is one of the uh, principle of solid um, inversion of control and uh, i have uh, created a video and I have, it is already available in my channel with an example with a practical example of what is a dependency injection this video which you can see it's the the link is i'll be sharing in this description of this particular section and um, basically what do you mean by dependency injection so if you read the explanation dependency injection is something we rely on some support or get some work done look at the example read uh, understand the example which i have given if class a as a method say print data and class b needs the functionality to print some report then class b take responsibility of to initiate instantiate class a and use the method print data so class b is dependent on class a to print the data now in order to remove the dependency we have applying the dependency injection class b will be provided the required dependency without class b initiating and managing the instance of class b sorry class a it is a role of dependency injection to pass the required dependency to the required class by injecting the required service in class b so that is the reason i am telling you this is just an just a summary a glitch of uh, just a view of what uh, a dependency injection but i highly recommend that you watch this video uh, and uh, understand what is dependency injection because we we use this dependency injection in our project also moving forward what do you mean by routing if you look at i had in my architect mentioned about routing so please understand routing so it is a process that matches the url incoming request matches the controller and invoke the relevant action method very simple so if you see the client that the user has requested the url http localhost 8080 home and index so this is what the client will request for and now when the request is initiated to the web server it will come to the controller now in the controller class of ohm if you notice this is a ohm controller you can see in the top public class ohm controller now once it interprets this, it knows that it the controller name is ohm and in the controller ohm it will then search for the index method and then whatever the method action is it will result back to the client or the browser so this is what the routing does similarly you see the second example we have the same um, controller but this time it is calling a different action method that is view details and passing the parameters also so this is written back to the client so this is what is routing in a very simple uh, example which i have displayed over here 
Finally, we have the entity framework. Now we are using entity framework over here. We are not using idio.net or to create our own methods to uh, command object and uh, SQL object to and passing the command with the parameters. We are using our entity framework, which is provided by .NET and it handles all the database related activities. So we can focus more on our business and uh, UI related stuff and uh, entity framework will take care of all the database related activities. We are going to use uh, entity framework core in our project and um, in, in order to do all the database related operations. Now let's get started. Now in this video, before we end this uh, part one of this video, we will walk you through, I will walk you through the product which we, you will be developing along with me. So let's get started. Fine, this is the UI, this is how our UI looks. The landing page will be login. Since it is an expense management system, we like to store your information confidently. We want every user to store their information confidently. That is the reason we have given a login page. And we log in with our email address. So So once I log in, I'll be able to see this interface expense manager, expense register, expense category and log out. Welcome to expense management, record, track, manage all your expenses. Now I didn't show you one feature, I'll just log out. We have a login and we can also register. So right now I'll just register. I've registered one user and then I'll log in with Bob. So I've registered and logged in with Bob and now I'll walk you through these are the expense category. So we can see there are stocks, mobile bills, personal expense, gas bills, personal loan, credit card, healthcare, donation, education, travel, gifts. So here you can add new category. If I want to add a new category, you say new category say laptop expense and you can save this it's got save you can update it expenses it got updated and you can also delete it so these are the crude operation you can do these are the categories and then finally we have the expense register where you simply record all your expenses on a database so i've already recorded some expenses and now i'll add in front of you so add an expenses i say on fifth I had some expense, education expenses, paid fees, okay, and I speed up on. So this has got registered on fifth. I did expense. I can update it and change the amount. Okay, so this this is how I record it, and this I, I can delete it. It will prompt me a confirmation: delete your expense and get deleted. And we have a logout. So this is what we are going to create a very simple and a beautiful application and this you can use for your own personal purpose and I have shown you the walkthrough the application. In the, in the next video I am going to start off with creating this project from the scratch. So guys uh, please do like this video, stay tuned for the next video uh, in part 2 video where we are going to start off with creating our project from the scratch. Do subscribe my channel and like this video. Thank you very much.